Get it! Yeah! yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the carnage. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really fun planned. We've recently hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed. And it's been exactly a year since we went down to the Workbench Conference in Atlanta. It's a DIY YouTubers conference where we met a lot of great people including our friend Ethan Carter from Ethan Carter Designs. We've missed that sense of community, so we decided to start a remix kit challenge. It's where we're going to build today a trebuchet out of a mix kit. We're going to tear it down and send the same connectors to a creator, Ethan Carter, and then he's going to build whatever he wants, tear that down, and send those connectors to the next creator after that. We're really excited to get this chain going and get involved with the community, so let's do it. I mean, I don't know how we're going to do this. It'll be a challenge. Uh, but that's the, the point of kind of the minis is to just figure it out. Weight drops and then it slings. Right. All right. We're making a trebuchet. I think. We think. Make it into a truss. Mm -hmm. We'd use up all of our connectors. Oh. And then you just attach T's right outside of that 180 to go. To shoot 30 feet. I like that idea. I wonder if the, like, the, does the weight need to be back here? Does the weight need to be in the middle? We could use the 45s to make a triangle out of the base that leads up into the middle. Oh, it moves. Sweet. Okay, after much planning and deliberation, here's what our minds have come up with. We've got the trebuchet design here. It's got two triangles to make out the main base and then one continuous sling an arm out of a 10 foot piece of conduit and it pivots with this 180 and we're going to do something where it's half inch conduit combined with three quarter inch conduit to make the uh, bearings or the pivoting action um, but yeah we're also going to put wheels on it because we watched a youtube video and wheels are good uh, and we use a method using a bolt in the conduit to add the wheels uh, so that'll be a neat addition as well. But there it is. We've got a few connectors left over, quite a bit actually. We've got six T, eight Ts, one 180, two 90s left over. So plenty of reinforcing possibilities. I'm sure we'll have to do that. We're going to build this structure, learn some stuff, and then we'll get some more supplies as we go along. Now we're going to head outside of the garage. All set up. We're tearing down the kayak cart to get the wheels. We're going to use those. We've got the mix kit. These are going to be our axles for the wheels. We're going to need two more wheels, but we're going to use the bolt method and tools. Conduit cutter, Sharpie, tape measure, and T-handle. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get building. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's figure it so that if we, if the conduit is split in half and the pivot's right at five foot, then we have enough vertical clearance so those weights will clear underneath. So divide that by 12, 7.75 feet. So that means the hypotenuse would be seven three quarter feet and that'll give us five and a half foot vertical. All right, so we're building the main structure. We decided we're gonna make it basically five and a half feet tall, which is pretty big, and that should accommodate the uh, 10 foot slinging arm, technical term, slinging arm. And so we're gonna build that structure, kind of test it out, and then see what we're up to. Grab that, and let's like 
We want to do a third of the pipe. <laughs> so it latches down there, and then the weight's up there, and then. All right, so we got this and that, and now we just have, need to add the bottom. So we're gonna make um, these supports right here with the 45s. Now that we got the main structure kind of together, um, we're going to try the, the pivoting arm to mount that. We just used a solid piece of conduit first. All right, 18 inches is the middle. That's where we want the pivoting arm to be. Each one of these sections will be 15 inches, and that will replace this with half inch running inside of it. All right, let's give that a try. Thought we were making a catapult? Nope. It's that. Whatever that is. <laughs> it spins great, but it's it's not that rigid like that, right? So it comes apart. What if we attached the bungee cord to the connector bolt and then ran it inside of the conduit there, and then that was able to turn and move, but it held everything together. So I, I don't know if that's going to work. At least it doesn't want to pull apart. With a rope for sure, like it's going to be sturdy that way. All right, 25 pounds. We got two of these, if need be. Right. <laughs> that was attached to me. All right, on two. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is bending, but oh, well, you know what we could do? I mean, if we had, because it's, it's this is flexing, like the connectors. Yeah is flexing. So if we braced it like that. All right, well, let's break for now. Jake's got to go to class. And then tomorrow we're going to pick this up, finish it off, and then start slinging. OK, we're back day two. We learned some things with the test yesterday. I thought it went fantastic, but we definitely learned some things. The first thing is we've got to strengthen the throwing arm axle area. This 180 degree connector was getting stressed and there's a lot of torque and everything there, um, but that one was definitely getting stressed. So the idea is, is to take the 45s that we have down here, replace them with T's and then make a kind of diamond brace around this connector to handle all that torque. So those are the changes we're gonna make. We're gonna go outside, make those changes and see what this thing can do. Now yesterday we finished off by going to the store and picking up some supplies we needed. Let me show you guys what we picked up. We had to do a conduit restock. We got 10 more sticks. We were looking for two more of the wheels we got for the kayak stand or the kayak cart, but they didn't have any, so we just got four of these smaller ones. Then we picked up some more cotter pins and two hole straps and screws for the platform. Then we got this insert from the shop. You might have seen this in the hack video. I'm uh, really excited to give this a try. We have an idea for uh, part of the sling release. We'll have to show you that when we get there. But we picked up some more rope and some duct tape for the pouch. 
We have an interesting idea. We're going to try to make the pouch that actually holds the projectile. Dave's starting with the changes for the frame like he showed you in the mini model. But yeah, day two, let's go. All right, well, we've got wheels, got the plywood, launch platform. You want to divide and conquer? I can work on the pouch, or you can work on the release mechanism. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I just drilled out the cross pipe and ran this bolt through right here. The plan now is to just attach this rope so we can give it a yank, clear that, and send her flying. Okay, I just finished the end of the trebuchet arm the attachment that's gonna release part of the sling. One end of the rope gets tied to the end of the arm, but the other goes on this point. And the idea is, is that when it reaches the top, it releases half of the sling and then releases the, the projectile. So this is what I came up with. It is a quarter 20 bolt inside of these conduit adapters that push into the ends of conduit and then give you a threaded hole. And I just put the bolt in ahead of time and then polish it down so it was smooth. I put it in, there it is at the end of the conduit. Okay, here we are. Very rough first, first try at it. I mean, it looks like it's gonna work. You have a ball or something, like a small ball? Dude, my house is right there. Okay. <laughs> Here, let's point it this way. Test launch with projectile, with bent pin. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> yes, it works. Okay, launching in five, four, three, two, one, pull. <laughs> All right. I think that is enough successful test. We're going to take it to the balloon field and really test it out. We're going to get a couple of different projectiles and then we're going to launch them and see how well it works. Let's do it. Three, two, one. All right, 
Thanks everybody. It was an awesome time. I think, I think it came out pretty good. Trebuchet is still in one piece, still ready to sling more stuff. We threw tomatoes, we threw melons, we threw all kinds of different things. It was a lot of fun. Now it's time to tear it down and we're going to send all the connectors to Ethan Carter for his build. Everybody, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. I didn't even know where it was. Oh my god. If that would have hit me, that would have been hilarious. Okay. It was this far from your head. Do anything for the shot. That far. You're down here. We're trying to get the shot and it just like sails by your head by that much. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're lucky to be alive, friend. I am. Tomato. Tomato to the face is not what you want.